Minister Tajani, members of the government, fellow diplomats, distinguished guests, good evening, buena sera. Welcome to the U.S. Embassy's celebration of the 247th anniversary of the Declaration of Independence of the United States of America. A titolo personale, vorrei esprimere il mio sincero ringraziamento ad ognuno di voi per aver assistito me ed i miei collaboratori dell'ambasciata nel corso del mio mandato cominciato un anno fa. Tuttavia, il mio italiano deve ancora migliorare, perco, perciò uh, continuerò in inglese. So I would like to start by uh, taking one moment to thank the many donors uh, whose contributions made tonight's celebration possible, as well as the embassy team and the staff here at Villa, Pin Villa Taverna. Thank you very much. So we would not be here without your generosity and your support, and we recognize the invaluable role that American and Italian businesses communities, business communities play in the strengthening of the ties between our two countries. Together, our efforts create jobs by facilitating sustainable and inclusive economic growth. We look forward to continuing to partner with you all in the future. This is a very special day for us, and we are thrilled you are here to share it. You may have noticed the display in the garden that commemorates the visit 60 years ago by President John F. Kennedy. While in, in Italy, President Kennedy said, quote, today, Italy and the United States are more closely allied than ever before as partners in the defense of freedom. Thanks to the efforts of the people gathered here tonight in Villa Taverna, I believe this statement is even more true today than it was in 1963. In fact, US-Italy relationship has never been stronger. It is built on the foundation of our democratic systems, our shared values, and the many personal bonds between the Italian and American people. Together, we are more prosperous and we are more secure. As we rightly celebrate that partnership and those values, we are mindful that not too far away, the people of Ukraine are on the battlefield fighting for their lives, for their freedom, and for their independence. Secretary of State Blinken consults frequently with world leaders on the crisis, including a call this weekend with Minister Tajani and other G7 foreign ministers. As the Secretary said when he hosted the minister in Washington just two weeks ago, the United States and Italy will continue to support efforts to secure a just and lasting peace in Ukraine, consistent with the principles of the United Nations Charter. The world sees and appreciates Italy's leadership in that effort. Thank you. <laughs> President Biden has said that Putin had hoped his war would undermine the transatlantic alliance. It has not. In fact, our unity and our resolve has never been stronger. Instead, as Secretary Blinken said when asked about events this weekend, we've seen real cracks emerge in Russia. We appreciate Italy's leadership in other areas as well. We look forward to Italy's presidency of the G7 next year, and we are excited to spend next summer in Puglia with many of you for the Leaders' Summit. Together, we have important work to do to combat climate change, to secure supply chains, to prevent future pandemics, and to increase, increase global prosperity. To continue to ensure our security and prosperity, we need to deepen cooperation to make our economies more resilient and less dependent on strategic competitors that fail to meet international standards. I am proud to serve in Italy during this challenging and historic time. I am confident that our relationship will continue to grow stronger to the benefit of the people on both sides of the Atlantic. I would like to conclude by welcoming our guest of honor. We are privileged this evening to have Vice President of the Council of Ministers and Minister of Foreign Affairs, Antonio Tajani, with us representing the government of Italy. He is a staunch defender of Italy's interests. He is a good friend and a steadfast partner, both with the United States and across Europe. Please join me in welcoming Minister Tajani to the podium.